Alright YouTube and welcome to another Borderlands 3 news and information video. Today we got some really great new news about Zane and the official Borderlands Twitter account have said that we will be getting these information drops about our four Vault Hunters every Tuesday and every Thursday. I'm excited for more stuff just like this because what we got today of Zane was absolutely incredible. So they dropped a cool personal trailer all about Zane from his point of view and it sort of gives you a little insight into the mindset of Zane. Zane's personality and attitude in the So Happy Together trailer made me like him a little bit more and then when I played as him at Comic Con I started to love him a little more than that and now after today's trailer it's official I actually really do love Zane I think he's a great character. Uh, JoltsDude139 actually tweeted out a shift code today which was hidden in the new Zane trailer I couldn't actually find myself whereabouts it, exactly it was hidden but uh, he said it's for Borderlands 2 and that he won't spoil the reward but it is a good one I've not yet tried it out myself but I'll drop the code on screen right now so you guys can go ahead and check it out so I'll have the trailer on screen right now throughout the video as I go over a few of the extra details we got and I'll have the link down below to the actual trailer so you can go take a look yourself it's really good and it has a lot of dialogue from Zane which makes me super excited to see the flak trailer whenever that ends up dropping so let's jump into what the news that Borderlands put out today says about Zane so this is a news page that you can access through the Borderlands website and it is called ways to play Zane the operative Zane the operative is Borderlands 3's resident tech expert with an ingenious gadget at the ready for any life or death situation Zane can equip two action skills at once though choosing to do so will replace his ability to toss grenades to help you decide if Zane is the right vault hunter for you here's a brief overview of his skill trees doubled agent, hitman and undercover. Will your Zane build be worthy of the Flint family name? So of course one of the main things that I actually really love about Zane is that he's related to Captain Flint, Baron Flint and Sparky Flint and I'm really excited to see how that affects the storyline and his dialogue with the other characters because of course our vault hunters that we played as in previous Borderlands titles actually murdered the rest of his family. Now I'm pretty sure we did already know all of this information about Zane's skill trees so I will just glaze over it very very quickly and if any of you guys are interested I will actually do a full skill tree breakdown for Zane and the other vault hunters. That's actually something I've been thinking about covering for a while now but of course what we're all the most hyped for is the flak skill trees and character trailers when they do eventually drop. So here's the rundown on Zane's first skill tree, Doubled Agent, which focuses on his Digiclone ability. You can actually see the Digiclone in the new trailer, it's really awesome, he starts talking to him as if he's only friend, he says that he's always been alone. So this is a direct quote from Grant Cow, I hope I said that correctly, a game designer for Gearbox. It says, take advantage of Zane's unique ability to equip two action skills to help decimate your enemies. With the passive tree doubled agent, Zane players gain large bonuses such as synchronicity increases to gun damage when both action skills are active. And don't fear, just because you can't manually throw a grenade doesn't mean you can't use a grenade. Grab fractal frags or duct tape mod and your action skills and gunfire will litter the area with explosions. So that's a little tip from Grant Cow, a game designer for Gearbox. It's quite interesting to see that they've actually included some quotes from the devs here. So I'm just going to go over the free skill examples that it gives you. It says, as you progress further into the doubled agent skill tree, you'll find plenty of clever ways to improve your Digiclone, along with some bonuses that reward Zane for having two action skills active at the same time. Here are just a few of the helpful skills you can unlock. Quick Breather, which lets Zane immediately start recharging his shield whenever he swaps places with his Digiclone, which provides a huge boost to survivability. Then we've got Enhance, which causes your Digiclone to consume up to three grenades when you summon it, giving the Digiclone amped up stats for every grenade consumed. Double Barrel ups your DPS by giving your Digiclone a copy of Zane's current weapon and swapping places triggers increased gun damage for you and your Digiclone. So this isn't the skill tree I actually actually used when I played as Zane at Comic Con. I actually used the Hitman skill tree which I'll be covering next which focuses on the Sentinel which is Zane's little drone. Throughout the Hitman skill tree you'll find plenty of perks called kill skills that activate every time you end an enemy's life like faster firing rates or the chance to shoot additional projectiles. You'll also find some crucial skills such as Salvation which gives your damage a bit of lifesteal after you score a kill so you can shoot your way back to health if your life bar starts dwindling during battle. Death follows close which improves the effectiveness and duration of your kill skills, letting you tear through large groups of enemies with ease, and C in red, which sets off all of Zane's skill skills anytime he activates an action skill. If you stagger your action skills properly, your overall damage output will be through the roof. The action skill augments on the Hitman skill tree focus on enhancing the Sentinel's arsenal, including cryo damage upgrades to its weaponry, the radiation beam that weakens enemies while buffing Zane, and the ability to paint targets for a missile barrage. If you live for the thrill of the kill, the Hitman skill tree gives you all the help you need to rack up 
a ridiculous body count. This being the skill tree that I actually used during the uh, gameplay demo, I didn't get to use any of these skills that it mentions here such as Salvation, Death Follows Close and Sea in Red and of course I didn't get to add any extra buffs to the Sentinels such as Cryo Damage and the Radiation Beam. I did really enjoy the Sentinel as an action skill, I thought I found it a bit more interesting than the Digiclone but after reading a little bit about the Digiclone right there I actually kind of regret not choosing it because the Sentinel in a way was kind of similar to Gage's Death Trap. So lastly we have the undercover skill tree with the action skill barrier. This is Zane's shield ability which really didn't interest me but I'm going to quickly go over the skills that are included here and see and see if it changes my mind. So we've got confident competence which buffs Zane's gun damage and accuracy whenever his shields are active with better bonuses for stronger shield percentages. Calm, cool and collected which rewards Zane for using cryo weapons. Anytime you freeze an enemy you'll regenerate shields, health or action skills in that order depending on what's currently full. Distributed denial is a big one giving your barrier the effects of your currently equipped shield mod which also applies to any allies near the barrier with reduced bonuses for Zane himself. It will feel like everyone's getting together for a big buff party anytime you drop a barrier. Now that last skill distributed denial is quite interesting so it gives your barrier the effects of your currently equipped shield modifier. If Borderlands 3 is going to be anything like Borderlands 2 with the wide variety of different shield mods that you can get, so let's imagine that there's a shield like the Sham in Borderlands 3 and you can apply that to Zane's shield mod and get your whole team behind it. It's likely that you're not going to be taking many bullets. So I think that final skill distributed denial opens up a lot of cool opportunities for builds with Zane and I'm really excited to see where that goes once we start learning about some of the new shields in the game when the game actually drops in September. So it says at the very end, remember just because you choose a particular action skill it doesn't mean that you're locked into that skill tree. You're free to mix and match to see what powerful combinations you can come up with. We'll be taking a look Look at the other Vault Hunter skill tree soon, so be sure to check back for more. And then we get a really cool little uh, piece of art of Zane the Operative, which looks like it has like the mural of Mayhem in the background. And it looks really, really cool. I think that I believe this is a new picture we've not seen before. So yeah, I'll have that on screen right now so you guys can see that. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. All in all, this is really interesting. I, I love what they've done here with the character trailer. Obviously, I'm really excited to see Flack and his character trailer and hearing his voice for the first time in the trailer. I really do dig Zane's voice. I love how he's like a chilled out Irish drunk man. I think I'll be choosing Zane on my second playthrough because I, I've really started to love him more. I really do love Zane a little more than Amara now and I'm really sorry Amara but Zane has took the number two spot for me and I'm really excited to play as him. Uh, I'm really interested to see if he has any ties to the Zafford family with him being Irish. I know that that like might not mean that he has any links to them but he is Irish, he's in the Borderlands universe. He may have some ties to the Zafford family, you may know them. We may see more of the Zafford family, I don't know. But yeah, again, this is another example of really strong voice acting in Borderlands, just like I said in my previous video about Comic-Con. I think the voice actress for Tyreen did a really good job. And from this trailer, we can also see that the voice actor for Zane is really damn good too. So um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Please be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Go ahead and type in that shift code. I'll have it on screen again at the end of the video so you can check it out. I'm about to jump in to Borderlands 2 and type in the shift code and see what happens so um, leave a like if you enjoyed drop a subscription if you're new to the channel and you like Borderlands related content I'll see you guys in the next video